Hello everyone, Chocolate Bits here for another video review. It's another Monster Zoomers bar this time, and uh, this time it's another one of their Great British uh, Pudding Bars, and this time it's Spotted Dick. So there we go, something I never thought I'd say on YouTube or anywhere really. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically, um, you know, it's not as, uh, what should we say, um, obscene as it sounds. It's um, basically, uh, there, is, there is a pudding, I'll probably do a picture of it from, on the screen now, so you can see it on earth and talk about it. But basically it's like a big pudding with uh, raisins and... Oh, presumably hazelnuts, really. Um, I'm not a massive, I'm not generally a massive raisin or hazelnut fan. Or well, you know, well, when I was younger, anyway, I never would go near um, chocolate with or desserts with um, hazelnuts, raisins, sultanas, anything like that in it. Um, you know, I just wouldn't go near it, really. Um, but nowadays, you know, a bit more open to it. Um, and it's just because Montezuma's are doing a selection of uh, of their chocolate bars, um, with uh, based on British puddings, basically. So, we have to see. Uh, when I did previously, I can't quite think what it was now. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was now, but yes, anyway, I've done another one of them. <laughs> uh, oh, that's really annoying, actually. What is it? I'm sure it's just over there. Um, hmm, let me have a look. Eh, I can reach it. Oh, it's just summer pudding. There we go, summer pudding. There we are, yes. So, uh, <laughs> so that could have just, well, it was driving me nuts. I thought it might be worth knew what it was, but there you go. Yeah, summer pudding. So this one's there, uh, basically, uh, yeah, spotted dick. So there we go. Uh, so it's quite a sort of, I don't know, there is a bit of innuendo there, isn't there, of course, you know. Um, yeah, so I guess it's kind of one of those that's a bit, bit sort of infamous for that sort of reason. It's quite an amusing name. So there you go. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, really. So Monster Zooms is a, is a semi, well, I guess it's an independent chocolatier or chocolate maker or whatever you would like to say. Um, uh, I think based in Brighton, but they do have a web store, so um, that's where I've got these from essentially. But I think they are turning up in supermarkets, I've seen them in Sainsbury's now. Um, so there we go, uh, montezumas.co.uk. So it does imply uh, Montezuma, obviously, I think it's was it Mayan, Aztec, leader, not sure, one or the other. Um, yes, yeah, so Central America really, but I think it's actually, uh, where's the chocolate from? I'm sure it says... Mm, blah blah chocolate where's it from uh, it is vegetarian by the way um you might have guessed uh, i'm sure it does tell you where it's from um but never mind i can't find it on here <laughs> oh well who cares yes doesn't really matter. Well, well, I'd say who cares. I mean, people do matter. It doesn't matter, actually, because it's, you know, that's probably why they've called themselves Montezumas, you know. I guess most people might just think, oh, it's just chocolate. Let's just eat it. Um, but, you know, there is something to be said about um, the location of chocolate. So, uh, you know, perhaps I was being a bit uh, um, unfair there. But what I'm trying to say is people just want to eat it, generally, don't they? <laughs> so so let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. Um, right. So you can see it comes in kind of like a like a sort of Christmas wrapping paper type affair here, you know, that sort of not quite cheap wrapping paper, but um, yeah, it's sort of more snazzy than usual. Um, if it's not foil, as I say, you can't rub it or anything like that. It is a bit like that wrapping paper. Let's uh, give it an open. Hmm. So, reasonably nice smell coming from it, but uh, nothing too over the top. Hmm. So you can see, um, yeah, basically on Sims, they come in this kind of, I'm not quite sure what to make of this because, you know, this bit here is great and everything. I mean, I'm, you know, but it's not, if, you know, normally you break them off into segments, don't you? That's the whole point of these things. But here, you know, they, it looks really good, but, you know, you can't, uh, it's, it's not segments anymore. So I don't know. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But, um, but yeah, the gist of it is it's a four by six bar. Um, you can see measurement wise, let's give it a go. Roughly the same on either side. Just over 15.2 long, roughly, and about 7.25 wide. And the height, for what it was worth, about 0.7, something like that. Um, yeah, so what's, what's the calorie wise on it? So it says per 25 grams, 100 gram bar, so a quarter of it. So how many of them do I say there was? Four by six, 24. Um, so yeah, so basically per six chunks, per one bit down the side, um, it is 567 calories, so it's quite high. 
Nine grams of fats, five point which are saturated, five of which are saturates. Um, yeah, so what's 56 divided by 6? Is that 8 or something? 16, 21, 32, 40, 48, no, not 9. 9, of course, 9, sorry. Yes, yeah, so it's about 90 calories. A, that sounds quite high, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, I was reading wrong. Sorry, yes, I was reading wrong. One. It's 135 calories. I was going to say 90 calories a chunk. That sounds <laughs> ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so, so sorry, it's 135 calories um, per, 20, per 6 chunks. Um, but still 9 grams of fat fiber, which is saturates. I was reading the killer jewels part of that, sorry about that. I did think it sounded high, but I went with it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 135 by 6, so what's that? Uh, just over tw about 25, is it? Something like that? 30, 3, 6, 9, 12, 20. About, about, about 25, I think. 25, 50, 100. Hmm, maybe 20. 20. 20, 22, 25, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yes, maybe I'll do a caption, but I think you could probably work it out, yeah, so. It just annoys me when I start doing that. I kind of feel like I have to work it out then, you know, and uh, yeah, so. <laughs> so I guess 50, man. Yeah, so it's about 23, something like that. Okay, so let's have a try of snapping this bottom bit then, so. Yeah, because it doesn't cleanly break, and it clearly, you know, yeah, I don't know. So it's a bit of a strange one. I quite like the design, but um, I think as a sort of, it's a bit odd to have a segmented bar than to end with this kind of bit at the bottom that isn't segmented. I don't quite get that. Um, so you can see, you can see on the front there, there is loads of raisins in there. You can see that. So that's kind of how it looks in the spotted dick, actually. You do kind of see all these. That's kind of why it's called a spotted dick, I guess. Well, as wide as the spotted side, I've no idea about the other bit. <laughs> um, I tried to think. But yeah, so you've got uh, like these raisins sticking out there. So that's kind of the spotted part of it. So I think they had to have that in this bar. Um, what else was in there? So uh, hazelnuts as well. So you can see here's the hazelnuts. And they're very small. So you can see very small chunks of hazelnut. Not big chunks at all. Um, but they are... Because I've just snapped that off, there's a huge raisin in there. Um, very small chunks of, of um, hazelnuts. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out this big chunky bit at the end, so let's give it a go. Hmm. Not too, uh, I don't think I've got any raisin in this big chunk at all. I'm getting a bit of a hazelnut taste in the chocolate. The chocolate's quite um, soft, not smooth, but um, I'm not bowled over by the, um, I'm getting like a vaguely hazelnut flavoured chocolate really. Um, the chocolate's are bowling me over. I didn't get any raisin in that big chunk at all, so let's try uh, this bit here. Hmm. I think you need a bit of a raisin in there to add a bit more, um, have another taste, a bit more sweetness to it. It doesn't taste too bad, actually. There's a bit of another texture to it, it's a bit more chewy and, um, hmm. It does provide a good contrast to the um, hazelnut chocolate, really. I think, you, I think if you don't get a bit of a raisin in, I think you're, um, not, it doesn't, you know, it's not that great. Uh, most of them probably do have raisins in. Perhaps I'm unlucky, but it was a big chunk of the bar that didn't have any. Hmm. It's okay. Um, I think I think the chocolate just doesn't taste overly magnificent. I mean, you know, it's a nice chocolate, but it's quite soft. It's not really, it doesn't really have much of a flavour there at all. Uh, it's just there. The flavour comes from the hazelnuts, which you've got in there, but there's not... They're very minor, you're just getting, even though there's little chunky bits of hazelnut, you don't really taste them, you don't get any crunch. Um, 
pretty much because it's too thin. I don't know. So you do, but you do get the taste. Yeah, it's, but it's you know it's kind of a almost Ferrero Rocher type hazelnut taste, but not quite. It's not very strong. The raisin when you do have them does add a bit of um, a bit of something else to it, a bit more of a, a bit of something needed really to it to sort of make the chocolate actually have some kind of substance to it, and it does, um, you know, something away from just being just sort of like a very hazelnut flavoured chocolate. Uh, and it does provide a bit another texture as well because the hazelnuts don't really provide anything on their own because they're not there's just not enough of them and they're too small I think. I'm not getting any kind of crunch. Hmm. So overall, this bar has been kind of what I expected, really. Um, not one that I was particularly bothered about. Um, it's not unpleasant. I don't feel the. I mean, you know, I don't know if this is representative of Montezuma's chocolate in, in general. So far, I've not been bowled over by that chocolate. I mean, I think it's nice and everything. I do think it's good, and I think um. It's quite creamy, but it doesn't. It's not left me with a memorable taste or anything like that. I don't think. Wow, I could just eat a whole bar of their milk chocolates. I mean, I could, but um, <laughs> um, there's other. I'd, I'd rather eat other other chocolates. I think um, in there. So it's not. It's not bowling me over with the chocolate and the flavour here. In this case, it's okay, um, but there's not enough of it really. As I said, I did have one big chunk with no raisins in it at all. There probably isn't any raisins in this bit here, or or this bit. Let's have a look, so they can prove me wrong. You know, so you've got like a whole chunk here, because you can tell there's no raisin in it, because they're all whole raisins, you know, there's no bits of raisin in these. Um, so you kind of, you know, so, yeah. You know what I mean, so you are kind of getting lots of chunks with no raisins in at all. Um, you know, and some with two in, you know, so it's kind of, yeah, I'm not, um, I don't think they've distributed it well at all. I don't particularly like this kind of affair going on here. Um, and as I say, I had the big corner chunk, which was two and a half chunks, and it had no raisins in whatsoever. Um, you know, I just I just reviewed a, a Ritter Sport Bar, Hazelnut, and, um, well, basically, uh, sort of these, these crunchy pieces that we refer to as Amaranth pieces. It was a vegan bar. And that was just jam-packed with stuff, literally jam-packed. Um, you know, I've got it here actually. So look, you know what I mean? It's hazelnut and I mean, look at that. You know, you've got hazelnuts all over the place. You've got those crunchy pieces all over the place. Um, you know, and uh, and Carl Fazer bars are similar as well. And um, this one, you know, you've, you know, it's just you're just not getting the filling. You know what I mean? So it's not me being fussy here. In some bits, you're not getting any raisin. Let's say you're getting only vague hazelnuts in there as well. The chocolate's okay, but nothing to write home about. So overall, I think you know, I think you'd be quite disappointed with this. I mean, it's a shame because it is a you know a British independent chocolate company, and you know more for that. But um, at the end of the day, I'm buying the chocolate because I want to eat some nice chocolate. Um, and I must admit, you know, full disclaimer: if I was going to eat a dessert bar, chocolate bar, or any dessert, I probably would pass on the spotted dick. Um, dessert chocolate bar because it's just not really a dessert that I don't think interests me in the slightest. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, let's be fair. Um, but, you know, having said that, I've given this a taste. The segments aren't equal, you know, they're not equal. Um, as I say, like I've said, some of them are completely missing raisins. You know, you can see here, this, this, these ones here, they just don't have any raisins in. Um, you know, because you can clearly see, <clears throat> excuse me, when they do have raisins. Um, you know, this one has two, the one below it has none. You know, I can tell you that now. Um, you know, more of them, you know, I, I should have counted before, really, but I think that, I think that it would have worked out at probably about a fifth of the bar having raisins in them from the looks of it, you know, um, which isn't good enough, really. Um, I could be wrong there, as I say, there's no science involved in that, just from what I remember, but you could, you know, I'm sure, you know, I think you could probably see from when I opened it. Um, yeah, so overall, a bit disappointed, um, but it does doesn't taste bad or anything. Um, but you know, I think I, I I think I would pass on this. Um, I think I'd rather have any other chocolate bar that I like really, but I don't dislike this. So it's hard for me to say really. I think a three out of five, 
it's kind of like well it's neither good nor bad um but there are i'm sure there are better three out of fives that i would rather have than this but um so it's, it's pretty much a low three out of five really i think being a two and a half out of five would be a bit unfair because it isn't horrible it's just not very good at what it's trying to be is the gist of it so you know there we go <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that review. Um, follow me on Twitter, like my videos. Um, give, leave a comment or two as well. Let me know uh, if you've had this. Let me know what you think. Or if you, you know, if you have any suggestions for me, I'm always love, love to hear from them. Always, always love to hear from you. Um, and I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.